am I correct in stating that theoretically um, what should occur here potentially is that the mineralization actually gets richer yeah. Uh, yeah. going a little bit deeper here into that conductor. Yeah, it, you know, if we're dealing with um, a, a champagne glass structure where typically in, in intrusions that have this morphology, the mineralization occurs as a meniscus at the bottom and you can have several million tons sitting at the bottom of one of these things, you'd be looking, looking for the same model. So you'd have an overlying domain of disseminated sulfides with a, a basal concentration of dense magmatic sulfides that were formed from settling through the, um, the overlying uh, magma column, or possibly injected, who knows. But um, you're, you're looking for that association. The disseminated sulfides have already been found. They have a high nickel tenor. That means they've got a high nickel concentration in the sulfide component of the rock that makes them eminently more reasonable types of material to process because there's not as much pyrotide there. Um, and you have a, an electromagnetic target sitting underneath them. Um, one set of models that target could be completely unrelated and just um, um, a nuisance conductor. Um, the other set of models that really needs to be tested because it could be a discovery is that it's massive nickel sulfide mineralization tied to the disseminated uh, target. So the only way to do this is to drill the hole and find out what it is. We're looking for a high-grade system here, not a disseminated sulfide system. We've got a high-grade system. I think we've got enough space to make something that is of economic interest. Yes.